name is Lena, and welcome back to my channel. It's book haul time. In April, once again, I went crazy and I got 22 new books. I don't have a place to to put them. I have run out of space for books. But I keep getting them. Why? Who knows? I'm just crazy. I should stop that. But books makes me happy. Make me happy. And I love buying new books. I have... I love getting new books and I just can't seem to stop <laughs> but I should like slow down at least but let's get to the books I got in April first I'm gonna mention the one ebook I got and it is the anti-relationship year by Katie Wismer I have her first book like first novel she's a booktuber author tube Tuber. I don't know if you say that, but she's <laughs> one from one of us, <laughs> kinda. And yeah, I just wanted to support her and I'm really interested in her contemporaries. So yeah, I got it. And now let's talk about the physical books. First, I'm gonna mention the ones I have read, then the ones I haven't read. So yeah, first three books I got in April and I actually read in April and I have a dedicated vlog so you can check the vlog out you want to know more about the books and those are Walter Kleita or White Dress by Inga Abele, Rakstitaya or The Writer by Inga Geile, and Tigers or The Tiger by Janis Jonjevs. Then I got three books by the same author and all of them I got used because you can't really get them anymore. Like the author's first book, that is Wilton Stast or The Story of Wolf. Do you have a separate name for female wolves in English? I don't know, but Wilton is a female wolf in Latvian. And yeah, and I all I know that all her books are fantasies. But yeah, I have read them a really long time ago. I want to reread really them. Then I, that's because, that's why I got them. I don't own them, own them myself. My sister has these books too, but I wanted to own all of this author's books because she's one of my favorites. So now I have all her books. So yeah, this one. Then I got Septin or Seven, and I got a book that I already had the paperback version, but I wanted the hardback because I, all the series, all the rest of the books in the series I have in hardbacks and it is The Curse of the Cat or Katja Lasts and the author is Linda Nemir. So yeah, this one is available in English if you're interested. You can get The Curse of the Cat by Linda Nemir in English. I kind of can tell you what this book is about because I don't remember these ones but I have read them. This one is about a woman who can turn into a cat. Like, were werewolves can turn into wolves, she can turn into a cat. I don't know if that's that plays a big part why I love this book or not, but yeah. I got the books I was missing in the Chronicles of Narnia, and those were the first and the third. Now I have all Latvian editions, that, like the new ones. I, I read them in childhood, the old Latvian editions that were paperbacks, now these are hardbacks and... I love them. I wanted them. Now I have them. Now I can reread all of them. And then I got Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sepetis. This is a historical fiction that I really enjoyed. I really liked. And yeah, I enjoyed all Sepetis books. And I know I have all of them. So yeah. I have all of them in Latvian. haven't read the last one because it's haven't translated. And now to the books that I haven't read. First I picked up this little story 1904. Uh, I think it's a story about a composer Emil Darsinch. He wrote my favorite like instrumental classical piece by Latvian composer Melancholy Waltz, Waltz, I don't know, but it is such a beautiful piece. Oh, I love it. I just love it. And when I saw this one and that it's about him 
I just had to get it because, yeah. I wrote multiple papers about the composer and his piece, like in school, in university. So it is kind of close to me. Then I have Count Dashman South by Anders Kal Nozos. This is like a calendar calls me. It's a diary entry kind of book in diary entries. And this one was nominated for a Latvian literary prize this year and I've heard a lot of good things and when I heard that it's in a diary format I just had to have it because I like like those untraditional formats so I hope it's good and I hope to get to it soon then I have Katjuvardotai or Cat Whisperer I think you could translate it as by Maya Pohodnieva on and Modri Spelses <sighs> I can like admit that I got this because of the cat on the cover and then the title. Because my cat book collection needs to grow. And yeah, I don't really know what this one is about. It says that it is a novel about a woman in her 40s. So we'll see what I think about it when I read it, but I hope I'm gonna like it. And then I got a uh, sci-fi book by a Latvian author and it's The Reader or La Cittaia by Joanna Steinberg and when I heard like when I saw that this is a sci-fi I was really interested because I want to read like more see more what Latvian authors are writing in my like favorite genre I hope it's good I don't know what it is about but yeah sci-fi called to me and that's why I got it and I got French authors Delphine de, Delphine de Vigon, I hope that's the, her name, and I got Loyalties. I heard one Latvian, uh, like, Instagrammer, Bookstagrammer, she talked about this author and she really loves her works and I wanted to try it. And I decided to get this one. I don't know what it is about, but we'll see. Then next two books are quite popular books that got translated to Latvian and this is My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell. I think this one was with the teacher, a student kind of relationship that like, I don't know, but something was like inappropriate with the story with student teacher relationship, I think. I'm not sure. But uh, I was interested in this one, and when I like saw that it got translated, I had to get it in Latvian. And the next one is A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. Got translated, and I got the Latvian translation. It's a big book. And this one is about a group of friends, like where one is like kind of main focus, I think. And I've heard that it's a heartbreaking and hard story to read because a lot of not good things like bad things happen to the main character but yeah we'll see what i think about it but i just wanted it then the rest of the books are in english first one that i got because of the cover it's a fantasy book what it is about i have no idea but it is gorgeous for the first time i saw this one on jody's instagram and I was so intrigued and I so wanted it myself and I finally got it. It is like such a gorgeous book. I could look at it for hours. I don't know. As I said, it's Octonami by Trevor Allen Forrest. I hope it's good. I will read it eventually, but this was such a cover by that, yeah, I'm sucker for beautiful covers. Yeah. Then I got the second book in Nocturna series. I think that's not the series title, but I got Occulta. It's a sequel to Nocturna. It was fantasy. I don't remember what culture inspired, but it was about a thief and a prince, and they kind of joined, to, joined together to fight this evil. I read it like two years ago, I think. Not last year. Did I did it last year? No, I think not. Two years ago, right? 
I don't even remember, but I enjoyed it. I think I listened to it. So it must be two years ago because I didn't listen to any books almost last year. But yeah, I got the sequel. I got the Fairy Loot Edition because I had the first one in Fairy Loot Edition. So yeah. Then I got another sequel, this time over the book I still haven't read. I got Bone Crier's Dawn, that is a sequel to Bone Crier's Moon by Catherine Purdy. And the first one, it's about this... I don't know if they are like fantastical beings or what, but they have to, they are bone criers. They have to kill their true love for something. I don't remember, but I was intrigued in that book and I just wanted to get the matching pretty fairy loot edition. So yeah, I got it. Then I have the fairy loot and Halo crate March books. And I think, no, this is a March fairy loot. And it is the Bright and the Pale by Jessica Rubinkowski. And it is, I feel like a polar fantasy. It looks like a polar fantasy. And I'm gonna save it for Polar Tone. Something was with where all in this village or place were killed, except the main character she lived and now she's hunted to be killed or something like that. And then I think this was, I don't know, I kind of forget the month. Might be March 2? Is this March? I think it is because April's box still hasn't arrived. So March, Illumicrate, The Unbroken by C.L. Clark. This is, looks kind of like an epic fantasy. This one is an adult one. But yeah, that's called kind of all I remember. I'm bad with remembering books. But yeah, this one is a gorgeous book too. Yeah, that's it. This was a quick run through all the books I got in April. It's a lot. As you know, uh, I don't know what the books are about. The ones that I have read, I know if I remember. <laughs> Mostly I don't remember what was that laugh. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. These were all the books I got in April and I already have few in May. I'm going crazy. Bad. That's it. That's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I see you in the next one. Bye!